Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this screencast in which we are going to look at how to solve the internal rate of return of a project when the cash flows from the project are in the form of a mixed stream. So for that purpose, we have some numbers here. We have an estimate of initial investment, $240,000 have been invested in a project, following which the project is returning to us these numbers in the next four years and if you look at these numbers you will realize that this is a mixed stream of cash flows so in this case what we are going to do is step one would be to find out the average cash inflows how we are going to do that we are going to add up all these numbers and then divide by the number of years which is four so 120,000 plus 100,000 is 220,000 plus 80,000 is 300,000 and plus 60,000 gives you 360,000. So let's write 360,000 and divide this by 4 to get our average annual cash flow of $90,000. Now step 2 is going to be to find out the average payback period and that is going to be equal to what you do is you take your amount of initial investment $240,000 and divide this by the average cash inflow which we found here 90,000 so we write here 90,000 and that will give us 2.67 years step 3 my friends would be to find out the present value interest factor of the annuity closest to this number 2.67 so let us write that here 2.67 and for that we are going to go to our interest factor of the annuity table and we are going to go into the row for the fourth period why fourth period because we have four years in question so when we do that that is when we go to the table we are going to find that there is a factor 2.69 and that comes pretty close to 2.67 and the corresponding interest rate is 18 percent and so this it becomes your starting estimate of internal rate of return then step four would be to compare the initial cash inflow which is this one 120 thousand dollars and compare it with what with the average cash inflow which is you found out here ninety thousand dollars so let us write here initial cash inflow one hundred and twenty thousand dollars and the average inflow is $90,000. That is what we solved. Now the rule is, if your initial cash inflow is greater than the average cash inflow, and that requirement is uh, met with here. So that's why we say, since the initial cash flow is greater than the average cash flow, we are going to adjust the internal rate of return upwards randomly. And let us say to 21%. So what we are going to do now in step five is to find out the NPV of the project at 21% and see if it is zero or not. If it is zero, then 21% would become our internal rate of return. If it is not zero, then we will have to adjust our discount rate till the point we find a discount rate where NPV becomes zero, at which point that would be your internal rate of return. So let us do that here. NPV at 21%. Now we cannot use annuity factors for finding out the NPV. We know for finding out the NPV, we first of all need to find out the present value of cash inflows. And once we have the present value of cash inflows, then we take out the amount of initial investment from those uh, from that present value. So now let's look at our cash inflows. When we look at them, we realize that this is a mixed stream. So we cannot use annuity factors for discounting this stream of cash flows. What we will need to do is to use the present value interest factor of $1 for each of these periods, for each of these amounts. So let us start doing that. First of all, let us find out the present value of our cash inflows. The inflow in the first year is $120,000. Let us write it here, $120,000. And we are going to have to multiply this by the present value interest factor of $1. I'm repeating again present value interest factor of one dollar not the present value interest factor of an annuity of one dollar so the present value interest factor of one dollar for what percentage 21 percent 
for which period for the first period because this is the cash flow for the first period so when we um, now um, let us write here present value interest factor for 20 um, one percent or let us just write down the values of these factors uh, let's go to the table and locate the values present value interest factor of uh, one dollar for at 21 percent for the first period is 0 0.826 so let us close this bracket and then write down the second cash inflow which is one hundred thousand dollars so let's write it here one hundred thousand dollars and now let us multiply this by the present value interest factor of one dollar at 21 percent for the second period which is 0 0.683 close the bracket and then let us accommodate the third cash flow which is eighty thousand dollars so i'm starting another bracket here writing eighty thousand dollars and multiplying this by the present value interest factor of 21 percent for the third period because this is the third year's cash flow the interest factor in this case is 0.564 let's close this bracket and write a plus sign and then write down the last year's cash flow which is sixty thousand dollars so let us write here sixty thousand and multiply this by the interest factor which is 0 0.467 and close the square bracket now and from this present value this total present value here which we are going to solve from this we are going to subtract the amount of initial investment which was two hundred and forty thousand dollars so let's write here two hundred and forty thousand dollars and this is going to um, give you a sum of two forty thousand five sixty minus two hundred and forty thousand and that returns to you a positive NPV of five hundred and sixty dollars so since the NPV is still positive and we want it to come close to zero as much as possible therefore we want to reduce this number from 560 to zero and for doing that we are going to have to increase our discount rate so that's what we do here we resolve for the NPV at a higher discount rate let's say 22 percent and when you do that uh, following exactly the same procedure as this as this one here what you are going to get is this I will just supply you with the result to save some time 236,740 minus the amount of initial investment $240,000 and that is going to return to us a negative NPV of $3,260. So what we observe is that at 21% rate of discount the NPV is positive and at 22% rate of discount the NPV turns negative so therefore our internal rate of return is between 21% and 22%. Now if we want to find out the exact number of NPV we need to interpolate. For that let's take the steps quickly. The first step is going to be to find out the absolute difference between two numbers. Which two numbers? The present value of cash inflows at the lower discount rate which is this one 24560 let us write it here and what is going to be the second number the second number is going to be the present value of cash inflows at the higher discount rate which is this so let us copy this and paste it here take the difference and the difference would be 3820 the second step would be to take the difference between the present value of cash inflows at the lower discount rate which is this so let's copy and paste it here again and our desired present value desired present value would be desired present value would be always equal to the amount of our initial investment because if this is the desired uh, if this is the uh, amount of PV of inflows then your NPV would become zero so that's why 240,000 and the difference is 560 now step 3 is to divide the result of step 2 by the result in step 1 
and that gives us 0 0.15 and step 4 is to add this 0 0.15 to the lower discount rate which is 21% so your internal rate of return is equal to 21.15%. Thank you very much ladies and gentlemen. Bye-bye.